yeah it's been a while let's see if i get this intro right hey guys it's cameroon and welcome back to another video and yes like i said it's been quite some time since the last one the last video i made was all the way back in february when season 9 dropped for overwatch 2 we're talking about almost 180 days since the last upload on my channel, which honestly is unacceptable for me. So today I thought it would be a good idea to just sit down and explain why this happened, then catch up on these last six months and the plans for the future of the channel. Also, it might not be too much of a mystery, but my interest in Overwatch has definitely dwindled. So the gameplay you're seeing is from Overwatch 1. So hey, if you missed that game, at least you get to see some of it. This video will probably bounce between some other gameplays anyway. The most important part is just letting you all know what's up. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So why did I stop making videos? Well, I think there's a few reasons for it. My interest in Overwatch was declining. Reporting news on the game felt exhausting. Don't worry, I'll explain it in more detail. And then pairing that with self-doubt and indecisiveness on what I should make content on if I stopped playing Overwatch, all contributed to this hiatus of mine. When I was uploading, the general feeling or attitude I had towards the game was fairly negative. A lot of the changes the game was making at the time were not very good. We had to endure the first ever MAGA meta. Tank sucked, still does from what I've heard of. There were some pretty aggressive shop stuff, like the weapon variants and the Winter Wonderland to name a few. In general, I was not happy with the game, and in my videos, I definitely expressed that. That's not to say the game hasn't gotten better since then. The Battle Pass rework was great, coins actually being in the past. Six v6 testing is coming soon and some other cool stuff but for me the ship sailed once season 9 began and ever since then i haven't wanted to play overwatch 2 and to be honest i felt far more relieved and happier not playing it and just enjoying other games now i could have stayed making overwatch videos but just on like news and updates but when you start to not care about the game that's getting these updates it becomes harder to keep making them. I don't want to wake up and immediately have to think about, okay, there may be news today for Overwatch. Because this mentality led me to constantly refreshing Overwatch outlets hourly, just waiting to see if something happened. If nothing did, I was relieved and I felt like I could relax. But then if something did happen, I'd have to rush through all the news, make a script that is detailed enough but also short, record gameplay, record audio, put it all together in a somewhat reasonable amount of time. If it took too long to make, everyone already knows about it through the giants that are in the Overwatch community. The only plus I had compared to them was the length of videos. I wasn't uploading 40 minute plus long videos about a blog post or patch notes. But time was important. I was racing a clock trying to make these videos while my interest for the game was becoming smaller and smaller. That's a terrible combo. It also doesn't help that the one thing in Overwatch I really loved and felt like could be the main focus point of my channel just died. You know, Overwatch League. I don't even know if you all really knew how much I loved that league. Every week I was excited to watch some competitive Overwatch. It wasn't even about the tokens, those were just a bonus. It was just the whole league itself. I loved the casters, I loved the uh, watch point desk try to remember things because it's been some time but then this new format comes out and it's not as nice to follow it feels all over the place and isn't anything special like the league was i think the only teams i can name from overwatch esports off the top of my head is m80 and toronto ultra overwatch league is what kept me in overwatch without it i probably wouldn't have even played as much as i did i wasn't trying to be a competitive esports level player of course but watching those games made me want to have those awesome team moments that overwatch can give you well more so old overwatch could give you the game is far more solo orientated nowadays. But this doesn't justify my disappearance. I should have tried harder, made videos on different games, streamed anything. I could have used some of it to make other videos too and experiment with the channel, but instead I went into hiding like a dummy. It wasn't a smart decision and for that I'm sorry for getting up and just leaving. Especially not even explaining anything with like a community post. That would have taken like five minutes of my time and I still didn't do it. But yeah, now that I've explained the early on reasons to why I dipped, I think it's time to catch up with y'all, especially about what's been happening with me in these last six months. Nothing major has changed with me, so that's good. I'm still the strange dude that is known as Cameron or Cameroon, but it's more so a long-awaited what's up, which will tie into what's next for the channel. So sit down, grab some popcorn, and I'll give you a summary of the last six months. Mainly gaming-related stuff. We don't need to talk about, like, real-life stuff, because that's boring. You probably don't need the popcorn, it shouldn't take too long. So I left Overwatch and proceeded to play Apex, completed the battle pass, and finally got my long-awaited heirloom shards. If you're wondering, I got Watson's energy reader and then deleted the game, because 
that's the best thing to do. It was after that where I discovered a new game, well, an old game that I've never played before, and that is Mass Effect. This game essentially RKO'd me out of nowhere and decided to take every hour I could devote to it. I played through the games many times, and I'm talking about going one through three multiple times. If you didn't know, your playthrough, choices, etc. carry over between the games. It became one of my all-time favorite games and game franchises, and it's a crime that I never played it until the year 2024. The first game came out in 2006. Seven. If you're wondering, my favorite of the trilogy is Mass Effect 1, but shout out to Emmy Andromeda though, for not being that bad actually. Still my least favorite, but I got 240 hours out of it, and it does have the best combat. Now that would go on for quite some time, it literally became a running gag between my friends that I just never would play anything else, which was true. No other game was on my mind, and I only stop because I'm waiting for a mod to get completed to continue one of my playthroughs. Then I began playing the Fallout games again since the TV show dropped, didn't beat them since they're open world games, and I struggled to maintain interest in the game genre. I prefer more linear and semi-linear. Then Palpatine somehow returned, and by that I mean the big bad Fortnite. I played that and completed the battle pass of the new season in only 8 days, then hit level 200 in the next 7. I don't really want to talk about it. Well, besides having Hollaback Girl by Gwen Stefani as my lobby music, because that shit's bananas. Then I dabbled into the Dragon Age games, still need to finish the first one, Dragon Age Origins, and then go through all the other ones, but I really like the first one so far. Then Rainbow Six Siege made a return, and I proceeded to complete that game's battle pass with my friend Crook. I definitely should have recorded some of those games, because we had some really funny moments. I gotta stop with these Battle Pass live service video games. They are draining and just not the best gaming experiences. And then the final major mile game stone thing was revisiting the Life is Strange franchise. Since they announced that Max Caulfield will return in the next game, Double Exposure, I knew I had to replay the first game six times. I also played every other one too, was disappointed in Life is Strange 2, just wasn't that good. Before the Storm is a prequel, so there's nothing to really talk about. But True Colors was actually pretty damn good, and Alex's power is really cool, so I recommend True Colors if you've only played Life is Strange 1. But the first Life is Strange is still the best one, and I'm extremely excited about Double Exposure to the point where I pre-ordered it! which is something I rarely ever do when it comes to games. But yeah, that pretty much summed up my major gaming experiences over the last six months. Did I think about Overwatch during that time? Not at all. But I did think about the channel and the videos I should be trying to make. I just didn't know how to, and to be honest, still don't really know how to make these videos. I've never considered myself to be that entertaining solo. I think I bounce off my friends quite well, but carrying a video by myself is a whole other animal. Making those informative videos like I did before wasn't that big of a deal because it was more about being clear and concise with a little bit of personality. Solo videos require a lot more vocal energy that I still haven't gotten too comfortable with, and I want to make good videos, not just videos to put out that are bad. I'd rather a video do poor view-wise, that I enjoy watching than a video I dislike making, but it does well view-wise. Honestly, I should have just streamed some of these games, to be fair. That way I was just doing something and communicating with all of you. It would have been cool to just get to know you all better and vice versa. It also would have allowed me to step out of the channel's shell that is Overwatch with other games. Then I could have used the stream footage of highlights to expand the channel. And so yeah, there's just a lot of regrets I have for not uploading or doing anything YouTube related. And again, I am sorry for that. But that leaves the last question. What's next? I want to come back, but I want to do it better and at a healthier pace for myself. I want to make videos that I'm proud of and that are made on my schedule rather than a games live service random update BS. I think this also means I actually got a stream too. There's no better way to get feedback from you than live and I get to know you all better. I want to play a whole bunch of different games, but I do fear my computer might not be able to handle everything streamed. So it'll be baby steps when it comes to streams, at least for now. It'll be like experimental. Now, does that mean Overwatch is gone for the time being? Yes. I think it's time for me to hang up my rocket hammer and start focusing on other types of videos and games that I enjoy playing. Does that mean it's gone forever? I really don't know because anything can happen and maybe I'll come back to at least see 6v6. But know this, my Overwatch prison chains are definitely broken. But yeah, that's everything I want to talk about for today. I know I've been gone for quite some time, so I don't expect many of you to see this, but to everyone that did decide to watch this video, thank you and I really do appreciate you all. I don't want to just say I'm back and I'd rather prove it, so let's wrap this video up. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, and night, and I will talk to you all later.